Hello, and welcome to Tech Talks in 10. My name is Mike Mangino, and I'm a consulting engineer with Nokia's IP division. Today, I'm here to talk to you about eVPN route types and how they're used to distribute information about eVPN attributes. Specifically, we're going to focus on RT2 and RT5 and the different scenarios that they're used for, since the information that they provide is similar. First, we're going to walk through the eVPN route types and descriptions. Next, we'll go through some of the RT2 details and an example. Follow up with RT5 and an example as well. Then we'll conclude with deployment scenarios and why you would choose one route type over the other in your deployment. But first, let's do a quick review of the route types in eVPN. For the sake of this conversation, the 11 route types can be broken down into four groups. First group is basic eVPN. This includes RT2 and RT3. RT2 is used for the distribution of IP and MAC addresses uh, to populate forwarding tables and suppress uh, broadcast flooding. This is one focus of the talk. RT3 is used for the auto discovery of remote VTAPs through inclusive multicast routes. This advertises a membership of a specific layer two domain, which is a VNI within a v given VXLAN domain. And it's discussed in RFC 7432. The second group is for advertising multi-homing capabilities. RT1 is for Ethernet segment auto discovery and multi-homing support. It includes MAC address uh, withdrawal, mass withdrawal messages and propagation of service topology information. RT4 advertises multi-homing status for active-active and active standby, as well as designated forwarder election. You can learn more about eVPN multi-homing in our Tech Talks in 10 multi-homing video. The third group only has a single route type and it's related to eVPN integration into L3 VPN. RT5 is another focus of this talk. While RT2 can optionally include IP prefixes, they're bound to their associated MAC address that's advertised in the RT2. RT5 provides IP prefix distribution without a MAC address attached for IRB integration. This is described in draft IETF BES eVPN prefix advertisement version 11. The fourth group of RTs is for multicast services, and it includes RT6 through RT11, and it's not covered here either, as they're not really that widely deployed. Let's talk a little bit more about Type 2 routes. MAC with IP advertisement routes, Type 2 routes, are per VLAN routes. Only PEs that are part of a given VNI need these routes for forwarding of traffic. eVPN allows an end host IP and MAC addresses to be advertised within BGP as an NRLI. This allows for control plane learning of ESI MAC addresses. Because there are so many type two routes, a separate per, uh, excuse me, a separate route target is auto-derived per VNI, which helps to confine their propagation of the PEs only that need them. This route type is supported by all eVPN switches and routers. RFC 7432 further defines the RT2 IP, MAC IP route where a MAC address can be advertised together with a subnet mask and IP address. While a variable length mask might have been used to indicate the presence of an IP prefix in a type two route, there are several specific use cases in which uh, probably using this route type to deliver IP prefixes is not suitable. This is where uh, RT5 routes may come into play. Similar to how it works in BGP L3 VPN, RT2 eVPN routes advertise a MAC address and optionally an IP address and subnet mask that is bound to that MAC. This cuts down on ARP flooding, et cetera, inside the eVPN. So let's talk about RT5. The type five route or IP prefix route is defined in draft IETF BES eVPN prefix advertisement version 11, as I mentioned before. This provides for encoding of inter-subnet forwarding. In the control plane, eVPN type five routes are used to advertise IP prefixes for inner subnet connectivity across data centers. To reach a tenant using connectivity provided by the eVPN type 5 IP prefix route, data packets are sent as layer 2 Ethernet frames encapsulated in the VXLAN header of the IP network across the data centers. Unlike RT2 routes, RT5 routes provide the ability to decouple the advertisement of an IP prefix from the MAC address binding. This is very important. RT this allows RT5 to provide a layer three VPN-like service, i.e. an IP layer three overlay service using a single address family. 
So let's go through an example. Similar to L3 VPN, there is an IP VRF on each PE router for the layer three overlay. IP routes in the VRF are advertised to remote VTAPs as RT5 routes. The exported eVPN RT5 routes include a route target extended community unique for that layer three overlay. The RTs carried by the eVPN type five routes received by the remote PE are matched against its VR impo VRF import route target policy. If matched, they're accepted and installed into that VRF, just like it works in layer three VPN. So why would you choose one versus the other? It really boils down to a couple of factors. First, the MAC to IP binding that is assumed by RT2 advertisement. And second, how far do you want to extend your layer two boundary in your data center architecture? If you're constraining L2 domains into a single data center and not allowing a subnet to exist in another data center, then RT5 is probably the way to go. Also, if you have floating IPs and you don't want to associate the MAC to that uh, specific IP, another reason to use RT5. If you do not want or need to advertise host routes beside, between data centers, RT5 is also very key. This has the added benefit of helping to reduce fib and rib sizes, which can be important when using merchant silicon based routers and with limited table sizes. If your design uses eVPN locally, i.e. inside a data center and L3 VPN in the WAN, RT5 is the functional equivalent of VPN v4 and VPN v6 routing, and it allows stitching between the eVPN and L3 VPN address families. I want to take the time to thank you for your time today and hope that this information was helpful. For more information on eVPN technologies and use cases, please see the links on the slide or contact your Nokia representative. Thank you and have a good day.